New York-born Dan Choi started the fair trade hair company Remy New York in 2017. The company pays women in Vietnam at least three to four times the amount that other companies in the market would likely offer them for their hair. Dan's mission to make a difference in these women's lives came from witnessing the dark side of the hair industry while living in Vietnam. In Vietnam, I saw an opportunity to help young women from um, providing them with opportunities and prevent them from entering into the sex trade. Women account for nearly 60% of Vietnam's untrained and unemployed adults. Experts have found that unemployment puts women at a higher risk of trafficking in Vietnam. In fact, Vietnam is listed as a Tier 2 country on the U.S. Department of State's Human Trafficking Watch List. This classification means that although the government of Vietnam has taken measures to stop trafficking within its borders, the country system still does not meet the minimum standards to effectively do so. In an effort to avoid trafficking, some Vietnamese women seek to make money by selling their hair. There are hair collectors that go around these rural villages from uh, village to village seeking out these women, especially in Asia because Asian women tend to grow their hair long for either for beauty reasons or for uh, cultural reasons. But this practice can open doors for a different kind of exploitation, hair trafficking, when women are underpaid and even robbed of their hair by those seeking to turn a profit on the Western market. There are unscrupulous companies, of which I can't name, that hire out local gangs. Sometimes the local gangs will either just basically run up to the girls um, with, with a knife and just cut it off and hit the girl. Other times they'll cut it off while the woman is sleeping in, in a park or, or in the movie theater as well. Stories like these that women have told Dan are not exclusive to Vietnam. For over a decade, there have been reports of hair-related violence towards women from all over the globe. In these cases, the violence stems from a promise of profit for high-quality hair. What most companies sell as human hair is usually a conglomerate of low-quality waste hair, sourced from salons and drains, and belonging to many different heads. The result of this method of sourcing is hair pieces that tend to tangle and damage more easily, but cost the sourcer and the consumer less money. Dan's company, Remy New York, refers to coveted virgin Remy, unprocessed human hair with uniform cuticles. These characteristics make Remy lush and silky in appearance, as well as the rarest hair for companies to find. While Remy will cost consumers top dollar on the Western market, back in Vietnam and other parts of Southeast Asia, the women that do get a chance to consent to selling their hair are given next to nothing for it. Here's where Remy New York stands to make a difference. Dan travels miles across Vietnam to meet women in person and offer them fair wages for their hair. While companies may pay women as little as $1 to $25, Dan says he offers from close to $100 to even $400, depending on length and quality. Ethically, um, we're not profit-driven, we're more mission-driven, and so we're just trying to help these women in terms of higher pay. And the amount that we normally pay in Vietnam, it might not seem like a lot of money in the Western world, but in Vietnam, it's a difference of covering maybe three to four months of living expenses, rent in the rural countryside. It could mean the difference of sending your, your child to, to school for a year with the amount of money that we pay these uh, women. Dan envisions growing Remy New York's reach outside of Vietnam too. On the consumer side, I saw an opportunity to help women that suffer from alopecia or have undergone chemotherapy who are looking to feel beautiful again. Almost every country in the world, women are reaching out and saying that they want to donate their hair to us. So what we plan to do is either make it into a hair extension and sell it, and then use the proceeds to help either the woman living in Vietnam, or if they'd wish, we, can, we plan to make it into a wig and help cancer patients in the U.S.